Hello, this is the next video in a playlist that I'm calling Introduction to Mathematical Statistics, Illustrations with R. And we're in Chapter 6 part of this playlist, and I'm titling it Using the Normal Distribution to Derive Distributions. And, and this will make more sense as we proceed. But we're going to cover the chi-squared, the t, and the f distributions in this video. Let's first look at the chi-square probability density function, the PDF of the chi-squared random variable with n degrees of freedom, denoted by chi sub n raised to the you know, superscript 2, is denoted by this quantity here. Now notice the n in this expression is the degrees of freedom. The variable is nu, or v, however you want to think about it. The mean of this distribution is n, the variance is 2n, and the moment generating function is this expression here. Now, a few remarks is that the chi-square PDF is really a, a specific case of the gamma PDF when alpha is n over 2 and beta is 1 half. That is, the chi-square random variable with n degrees of freedom is actually a gamma random variable with alpha n over 2 and beta 1 half. Now, since we prove the mean, the variance, moment generate function of a gamma random variable in this playlist, IMS stands for Introduction to Mathematical Statistics, so it's the 29th video on this series called Gamma Distribution. Then, by default, we, just, we obtain the mean, the variance, and moment generated function of a chi-square random variable just by referring to these derivations. Now, if z is a standard normal random variable, the distribution of z squared, let's call it u, is called a chi-square distribution with n equal 1 degrees of freedom. Now, so important that this is that you re realize this because it's used so much in statistics. And we derived this in the 32nd video on this playlist called chi-square distribution. Now, if x is distributed with a normal distribution with mean mu and variance sigma squared, then z, which is the standard standardized version of this, so we subtract the mean divided by the standard deviation, it is standard normal, and therefore z is a chi-square with uh, one degree of freedom. Now, if u1, u2, and un are independent, chi-square random variables, one degree of freedom, the distribution of their sum, let's call it v, is called the chi-square distribution with n degrees of freedom and is denoted by chi sub n superscript 2. And again, we div uh, prove this in this 30-second video in the Introduction to Mathematical Statistics playlist. Now, the t-distribution, uh, the t probability density function, is defined like this. So if we let z be a standard normal random variable and u be a chi-squared distribution with n degrees of freedom, and z and u are independent, then the distribution t is distributed as a t distribution with n degrees of freedom. Now, this ratio, you have to think of it as the numerator is a standard normal random variable. The denominator is the square root of a chi-squared divided by its degrees of freedom. And then this ratio is a t distribution. It has a, an amazing history. If you look at students' t-distribution and Mr. Gossett and how he worked with Guinness Brewery, etc. Now, the PDF of the t-random variable with n degrees of freedom, it denoted by p, t sub n, is this expression. Notice, so there's lots of, this is the gamma function, gamma function. The random variable is t. Notice it's t squared, so that tells me that it's uh, symmetric. So the mean of our random variable t is 0, assuming n is greater than 1. The variance is n divided by n minus 2, and the moment generating function is undefined. Now, for a derivation of the t distribution, see the video deriving the t distribution in this playlist. It was actually the video just before this video, and where we derived this uh, expression exactly and, and from first principles. The t distribution is an even function, so f of t is equal to f of minus t, which implies that it's symmetric about zero. And that's why I highlighted that the only random variable in this PDF is, is t squared. So it, that's how you get this by default. The t distribution limits to a standard normal distribution, meaning as n goes to infinity, the t distribution to, limits to a standard normal. 
and I'm going to point you to a video, see the normal approximation to the T distribution, where we derive these principles in much, much more detail. Now, most textbooks suggest that when N is greater than 30, the standard normal tables can be used in place of the T. And I think that was important when computers weren't around as much or they were really slow. But however, with computers, pretty much always use a T distribution. It's you, we get it by default and it's easy. Now, the mean of a T distribution requires N to be strictly greater than one. And a Cauchy distribution, which I uh, is a T distribution with one degree of freedom. And I'm going to suggest that you search Cauchy on this channel. And I have six videos on various aspects of the Cauchy distribution. Quite a fascinating distribution. But it, it doesn't have a mean. It's undefined. So, now, the F probability density function is, is thought of in this way. Let U and V be independent chi-squared random variables with m and n degrees of freedom respectively. The distribution of w, this ratio, is called a f distribution with m numerator degrees of freedom and n denominator degrees of freedom. But let's unpack this ratio. u is a chi-squared divided by its degrees of freedom, all divided by a chi-squared random variable divided by its degrees of freedom. And that, this ratio, which we let's call W, is an F distribution. Now the PDF of W with M and N degrees of freedom, denoted by F sub M N, is this expression. Now the mean of W is N divided by N minus 2, and that's assuming N is greater than 2. The variance is this crazy expression, and N has to be greater than 4 for this to be non-negative. Moment generating functions undefined. And I have several videos on the F distribution. I'm going to point you to a few of them. The statistical distributions, uh, this is the title of the video. Statistical distributions derive the F distribution. It actually is one of the more popular videos on this site. The mean and the variance of an F distribution where we derive these formulas exact and from first principles. You can also approximate the F distribution with a chi-squared. So I have a video called Chi-Square Approximation to the F Distribution. There we talk a little bit of uh, asymptotic theory and how this all works. The mode of an F distribution is less than one, which I actually find quite interesting because you know the, the mode or the F distribution is unimodal. And to me, it's kind of surprising that that hump is always less than one, um, and that's pretty intriguing to me. Like, if we have a t random variable with n degrees of freedom, and if we square it, the square of that t random variable is a f random variable with numerator degrees of freedom 1 and denominator degrees of freedom n. Okay, well, that's the end of this video. The next video, we're going to look at the properties of sample mean and variance from a normal distribution. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. I sure did. Please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.